that walk this globe To the last black slave they stole I'm the all in all Every living thing you see All of those things exist in me I'm the all in Supreme all Supreme team, dominant gene, God in the physical Rose from the bowels of hell, pardon my visual Cremators doing their job when they get rid of you Crabs in the bucket, my state and kill a nigga too Civil wars in the hood Letting hammers dance, playing with them pieces of steel Attract the ambulance, or a prison bid Now your daughter's sick, ain't nothing gangsta about leaving your seeds fatherless So I study self, and subtracted crime It takes supreme mathematics to heal a grafted mind For the two and the three, you need the one The only way to get to the father is through the son I met a lot of dudes, on that used to shit They come and go every day, I'm getting used to it Far as self go, I'm planted on the square. They on the light to a law, they planted over there. They don't respect the history, they don't recite degrees. Will we be using them both to reunite the seed? Yellow to the brown, brown to the black. Accepted or rejected, you repel or attract. It's been over 50 years, he been gone so far. Now that's a powerful cipher. Peace to a law. Here's a little store out here on Cotton Grove in this little town that I was talking about called Lex Vegas, Lexington, North Carolina. This is a major strip right here. And this particular gas station was one of the hot spots. Back in the days they called this downtown, you know? And a lot of the young guards used to be out here building and also doing their thing. But like I said, this was a little town, but when I first got here and born Bill, it was going down, not quiet, nothing like you're seeing out here right now. But everybody used to be posted up out here. You know how these little towns was, they especially was hustling and getting money at the gas station. But like I said, once again, we influenced this town with plenty of knowledge, you know, and we made sure that we did our job regardless of the other destructive nature of things that was going on. Add on guard in them streets. We will continue with this Lex Vegas GMG production. Yes, this is God in them streets, a continuation. Make sure y'all hit the share and like button. I'm bringing you over here again to one of the young brothers that I met when I first got down here in Lexington, North Carolina, better known as Lex Vegas. And now he has a barbershop called Jesse. Jesse was never a five percenter, but he's one of, all right, peace y'all. This is God in them streets. Like I told y'all, we was taking it, you know, to the south. And this is an intricate part uh, in my guards in them streets. I came down here, like I said, in 98, born Bill. And this is one of the younger brothers that was down here when I first got here. His name is Jesse. This is his barbershop, you know. And uh, we've been through a few things down here. And I'm just going to ask him about a lot of his individual friends, you know, that became five percenters down here in this town, like I said, as we call Lex Vegas. All right, here go my man, Big Jess, without further ado, Jesse. Uh, I just would like to ask you a question because, like, I let a lot of people know you know how when I first got here that a lot of y'all young individuals was already influenced with the knowledge because of uh, God Rahim and his children coming down and now a law. So would you like to let them know, you know what I'm saying, how many of your friends or whatever in this town right here, Lexington had knowledge? Well, yeah, it was like in the early 90s, um, <clears throat> Raheem came down, God Rashad, BG, rest in peace to BG, um, one of my closest homeboys, we passed Raheem, right. one of his boys, 
And um, you know, at that time in life, a lot of a lot of people came out and taught the knowledge, the knowledge itself of the black man, and <clears throat> it just got us close to each other, and try to get us away from the streets. You know, it was it was our choice. So the the things we did in life was a choice we chose, but we knew right from wrong. All right. Uh, so would you say, uh, Jess, this town right here is known, very well known throughout the world, you know, as what they would call the barbecue pig capital, you know? And like I told uh, Knowledge, you know, that not only did a lot of y'all individuals being young down here, you know, that changed your uh, perception of knowing who you are, but it also changed your diet. And even though that this small little town right here, I brought up with knowledge how in the county jail that we were so strong with the knowledge that they stopped even serving pork in the county jail. Yeah, that's a true story right there. Um, believe it or not, Lexington's in the South and it's a small town, but you wouldn't know it's a small town if you came in here. You would think a lot of these people grew up around in the city or whatever, whatsoever. A lot of them changed their habits in the 90s. Believe it or not, a lot of people today don't eat pork. And it, and it, and it might be from their belief, or it might not even be from their belief. It, it came from people back then stopped eating pork, and it came a train reaction even to this day. It's a lot of people who just don't eat pork and legs. And you'd be surprised. Other other towns and other cities be like, oh, oh y'all think y'all this, y'all think y'all that. Because we choose not to eat pork. A lot of people choose not to eat pork. Okay. Yeah, that's a true story. Right. And just like, you know, even on state, when I was incarcerated down here, you know, I came to find out that Charlotte, Raleigh, Winston, none of the big cities in North Carolina had a greater concentration of people with knowledge than this little town, Lexington, North Carolina. As we say, you know, a lot of them might not want to give me credit just, you know, for the Lex Vegas thing, but, you know, for real, because when I got here and I was dealing with all of them, I said one day to my nephew, guard Rashad, I said, yo, man, Y'all getting so much money down here, it's like Vegas, you know? And at that time, I think they was calling it L-Town. I said, yo, man, we gonna change this to Lex Vegas, you know? And at that time, we was going over there to a strip club in Winston-Salem, you know? And uh, there was a guy that used to work there, he's no longer on the radio station, called Tap Money. Yeah. And on tap, right, on 102, you know, and tap money was the first one to start hearing us call it Lex Vegas. So he got on, you know, his usual program on 102 Jams, which is a very big radio station down here, and they started calling it Lex Vegas. Okay, uh, like I said, once again, we was all out there participating, you know, in the illegal world. And what I wanted to show with you, with Jesse, you know, is the change, you know. Jess could probably tell you he did a little bit of uh, federal time, but like I said, he came back home and he's changed his ways and he's a very constructive, you know, uh, role model in the community, especially being a barber. And uh, also, you could tell him too, uh, Give them a little bit of your uh, your dog sight, uh, Jess, because uh, you also uh, breed breed dogs. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I breed French Bulldogs. You can follow me on Instagram at Jess Frenchies, J E S S Frenchies. Um, Facebook, um, Jess's Barbershop. Um, I also got a football program in the town um, from kids that's from five to twelve years old. To help them get out the streets for the uh, streets get a hold of them, be a good role model to the young men, and so they won't have to go through the things we had to go through coming up. Now, 
it's cause the streets now they don't give two cents about you. Mm -hmm. You know, when we came up with at least morals on the streets and now it ain't none and we just don't want these kids to get caught up with it. Um we got young black men who need to be led in the right direction from people who done been through situations. All right, uh and it's it's funny to say that just because a lot of people would think because this is a little small town, you know, that violence, you know, and everything else don't go on like that. And unfortunately, uh, a few days ago, we had an experience with, you know, that ugly head of, you know, violence between young black men in the community bring his head up and uh, some individuals got shot on the other side of this town you know, at a gas station. So, you know, a lot of times people think, you know, cause you in the South or you a small town. And like Jesse explained, you know, by a lot of us coming down here and different things like that back, you know, early or late eighties going into the early nineties, you know, that we changed a lot of the perspective. So this is not a small town, like I said, cause going on state or whatever compared to a lot of the bigger towns that when these individuals went through there, you know, they was uh moving on a whole different vibe because, you know, they was already had knowledge of themselves. They was already, you know, in tune with music and different things that was going on in different places. So um I really appreciate this Jesse and uh I chose to stop here with Jesse because, like I said, I've known Jesse a long time since he was, you know, a young teenager. He always been upright. And like I said, he's doing positive things in the community. I'm showing you his barbershop, my man Knowledge I just left. This is some of his apparel, you know, so y'all can see the brothers is, you know, constantly doing constructive things. And like I said, once again, Big Jess, I appreciate you letting me do this little interview and giving people, you know, knowledge and other different places that might think, you know, because you in a smaller location that things are different. And, you know, we had it a little harder down here because I'm going to continue with this. The main cat that's going to be on there is our uh, beloved toughest sheriff you know, in America uh, at that time called Gerald Hagee, Team 101. All right, Jess, is there anything else that you'd like to uh, say to the people? Nah, well, <clears throat> shout out to Shabu for doing this interview, trying to um, bring awareness to the South, to the um, Little Lexington, and um, help be a role model to these kids out here. Salute. This is God in them streets. Make sure y'all subscribe. We're going to keep it going. Okay, peace as y'all can see. I'm still here at my man Jesse's Barbershop. And I was fortunate for another one of the young guards down here. You know what I'm saying? To come through that also works here. My brother Divine. All right. Divine, you also are representative, you know, of us teaching down here in this town. So, as you can, will you let the people know out there in the world, you know, how you got knowledge down here in Lexington, North Carolina, better known as Lex Vegas. Yes, sir. All right. I got, I got the knowledge from Sabu back in the Born Cypher year. Okay. Maybe 90, born 90, 90, 97. Yeah, I think I got uh, knowledge then, but uh, I've been holding on to it ever since. It made me a better man. Days about the mad is wisdom culture. All being born to equality. Wisdom is the wise words, wise ways and actions, wise dawn. And when you speak wisdom, you're gonna form your culture. You see, your culture is our God. You're free when you free your mind, physically and mentally. All right. Peace. Peace. And like I told them, you know what I'm saying? This is a small town, but like uh, Jesse explained to him, you know, we was influenced by a lot of, you know, other individuals coming from out of town. So this ain't been like no ordinary small town. Like I said, it's 
violence, all type of things that's taking place here. And still, you know, your young brothers, you know, was able to get hold of the knowledge and do what you got to do. So um, if there's anything else that you like to let them know, Divine, before we end this. Man, all I can say is keep your head up, keep your head strong, and keep doing what you're doing is making you a better person. That's peace, God. Peace. Peace. All right, y'all. This is God in the streets. Once again, GMG, get money guards. Like I said, when I first got down here in 98, you know, born Bill, this was one of the major strips. This is one of the major stores right up here on Rally Road, as you can see right here, you know. And I'm getting ready to put my man Righteous up on here, you know. It's one of the younger brothers that been here for a good long while. So, right, you ain't even got to get out your car, Righteous. Like I said, I'm just showing all these brothers and sisters in other places that when we first got down here, you know what I'm saying? You was another one of the young guards. So I want to expose them to letting them know, you know, that everywhere we go, that this is universal. So without further ado, I'm going to bring my man Righteous on. He's going to tell you how he first got knowledge and the influences in this town, right? Peace. Yeah, my name Wright is God. Man, I was, yeah, I came to the knowledge in probably like 96 from all the older gods because you know, they came out here and just spread the love. Okay. They was the knowledge itself and we kept spreading it to the, to the youth. Right. And now, your, your influences was also through they seeds, God Rashad and True my indeed. nephew, born God Supreme, that returned oh, to the essence. Voice. Okay, well, give them a little bit of light on, on them individuals. As far as uh, BG, born God, man, it was like my brother right there. Man, he came up from since, ever since he was here. We, we you know, we came up together. He, he, he younger than me, but he taught me a lot, like a lot, because he was so for himself. He, he came, he, he did a lot. Yep. For his teaching, for his just coming up hard to in the struggle. All right, like I've been telling everybody, this is one of the major towns, you know, in the USA and abroad, that people come from far and wide to get what they call barbecue <laughs> pork. Right. But in the middle of a town like this, y'all all got knowledge. And like I said, once again, we changed the reality, even with that sheriff, Gerald Heggie, you know, the so-called toughest sheriff with pink walls right. and blue teddy bears, that we changed that county jail and made them stop serving what, Righteous? All swine. That's right. In this little Nobody town. Nobody eat pork up, up this area, period. That's right. And that's how much the knowledge affected this town. Good, bad, or indifferent. We did our job. And that's why I'm showing you, you know what I'm saying? That it still exists. It's still here. Because these brothers right here, they was in their teenage years. Just like we got it up top. And like I said, once again, righteous, before we sign off on this, is there anything else that you'd like to let the people know? I just just keep stopping. All Better right. yourself always. Peace. Peace. All right, this is God in them streets. I'm getting my little home girl right now. Tell them, tell them who you are. Yeah, Skittles, baby. You already know. All right, all right. Skittles yeah. been out here. She was, she, she was a little young when I was popping around in this town, but she know how to get down. And Skittles is doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? We gonna call her the entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? The Lex Vegas. Big, big mama of the vague. You know what I'm saying? And she out here making it pop. Yeah, she ain't waiting on no... Appliances and more. That's right. She ain't waiting on no man to take care of her. Period. She doing her thing. Period. All right. Peace to the queen. God's in them streets.